was a warning. This time, I'll switch all your ears back by morning. But a spell I've cast once can be cast again. And if you say one word, I'll be listening in. And the next time you wake up and can't find your ears, you'll know that I heard you and made them disappear. And with these words said, Hermes slowly crawled off. The animals were silent, not a whisper or cough. Not long after that, they just moved away. If they all lived together, they might talk someday. They left all their cars, their shoes, and their shorts. They gave up their TVs. They stopped watching sports. Some went to the jungle. A few moved to parks. Some came out in daylight. Others waited for dark. But alone or together, they said not a word. Wherever they went, only silence was heard. Now, few can remember that mixed up ears day. Is Hermes still listening? Nobody can say. So they just bark, or they grunt. They squeal, or they squeak. They might imitate you whenever you speak. The parrot now talks after so many years, but old Hermie was listening. Ever seen parrot ears? <laughs> So if you look down at your best friend today, and he's looking back like there's something to say, when you're playing together or taking a walk, oh, it would be great if your pet could just talk. And sometimes it looks like he gives you a wink. He seems so darn smart that he could talk, you think. But he can't take the chance. What if old Hermie hears? And your pet would look silly if he lost his ears. So your friend will just listen. Though he can speak, it's true. Sometimes late at night, he'll whisper. <coughs> Parents and teachers, this makes a good bedtime story. So if any of the kids are asleep, it's your responsibility to give them back to the rooms, okay? <laughs> I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Speak up in a big voice. I'll call on you as I see you. We've got a few minutes. Yes, sir. You have Harry Potter's skin? You want Harry Potter's skin? Why do you want that? That's a good question for your teacher, though. I don't, maybe they have Harry Potter's skin in a closet. I'm not sure. Yes. Quiet, please. Your mom teaches English? That's great. It's a tough job. Tell your mom she's doing a great job. Yes. You want, you want what? I want a pet bird. A pet bird? I hope you get one. No, I want a pet. I want a pet. Pet food? Didn't you eat breakfast? Yes. Just a minute, guys. I can't hear and I want to answer everybody's question, okay? If it gets popular, you know what? I love my job teaching English. So even if the book gets really popular, I'm going to keep on teaching. I like, I like working with kids. Yes. When, what kind of pet? You know what? I think all animals can communicate a little. And when a dog barks, when my dog barks, I know her hungry bark. I know her, I need to go to the bathroom bar. So I think they can communicate. Yeah, I think they talk. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? Do you have a pet? When you have your next pet, treat your pet very well. Talk to your pet a lot, and your pet will pay a lot of attention to you. Okay? Yeah. Well, I wanted to switch the animal's ears because it shows us that it's very, very important to listen, right? And you don't even think about your ears until maybe one day they're gone. And then you think about them a lot. So it shows how important listening is. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. Keep thinking, okay? Yeah. Do we have a G? Uh, I don't know. Do we have a G? Okay. 